What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon News Daily, a daily Pokemon show where I go over Pokemon news spamming across all the Pokemon games, including Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, Pokemon Quest, Pokemon Go, and of course, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Games. So today is Monday, July 2nd, 2018, and oh my god, we got a lot of news to go over, so let's jump right into it. First news story of the day is coming from Pokemon Go, and I'm going to be pulling up on multiple websites to confirm and show you that this is real. So let's start off with the confirmation of the Blastoise move that Blastoise is going to have on Community Day. Now this is coming from Niantic and the Pokemon Company on the Pokemon Go Community Day event page. It has revealed the exclusive move once you evolve Wartor 2 into Blastoise, it will learn to move Hydro Cannon exclusively for the three hour window during Pokemon Go Community Day. We also getting quicker egg hatches is one fourth egg hatch distance and three hour lures and of course with the Pokemon being Squirtle so we're gonna see tons of Squirtle out there this is looking like a great Pokemon Go community day just with that alone because shiny Squirtle gonna be added we're getting an exclusive move on Blastoise with the Hydro Cannon it sounds like a normal cool Pokemon Go community day gen 1 starter shiny I'm in sign me up I was down from the beginning of that but then we get this one piece of line added on the official Pokemon website right up about this exact Pokemon Go Community Day and that is this line right here. It says, plus you may have a chance to encounter Squirtle sporting sunglasses protecting themselves from the summer rays if you complete field research tasks during Community Day. Now, oh my God, my childhood dreams have come true the squirtle squad is actually being represented in a game and you can catch one and potentially have one on your team now again it's currently unknown what gonna be the field research task that we have to do picking off of what we had previously in other pokemon go community days we had like a task of a field research task of catch a certain number of that pokemon for community day and i'm hoping that's the case with squirtle like they're like oh you catch five squirtle you get a chance to catch this Squirtle with the sunglasses. Now, again, it's not confirmed if this Squirtle will have a chance to be shiny, and it's not confirmed if will War Total and Blastoise will carry on the sunglasses. So uh, you would have to wait for the event for people to find these information out. So be on the lookout for that information in particular. I would say follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. I will be keeping you guys posted during the Pokemon Go community hours. I'm out here in Europe in Switzerland that's before it is in America so if you do want the updates I will be trying these stuff out live during the Pokemon Go community day hour so you can follow me on those social websites to keep updated on that but oh my god I'm just so happy I'm so hyped that we are actually getting the Squirtle squad inside of the game recognition I want to see what it looks like as of right now there's been no like leaks or like screenshots of the Squirtle wearing the sunglasses now I could be wrong they could be screenshots out there or whatever the case may be. I've seen a couple that kind of look fake. Shout out to Reversal for cooking this up because it, it, the first thing I thought of was the Squirtle Squad. But it, again, it doesn't look like this is official in game. But I can't wait nonetheless. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on Squirtle Squad, on Squirtle Community Day. Are you hyped up for this? I think I'm more hyped up about having the Squirtle with glasses than I am with having a shiny Blastoise with Hydro Cannon at this point. Now, while we on the topic of Pokemon Go, I have to go from very exciting news to probably the, the, the worst news that came out of Pokemon Go in a while. And no, I'm not talking about the game crashing or anything. I'm talking about the fact that Snorlax with the Body Slam move has been added as the research breakthrough reward for this month of July. And from what I'm seeing, a lot of people are very upset about this. Now me, I haven't caught in Snorlax, so this is gonna be my chance to do 
it. I can't wait to actually catch Snorlax. So that's good for players like me who have not reached the Snorlax ever in Pokemon Go. Now I play Pokemon Go in New York. I play Pokemon Go out here in Europe, in Switzerland, and I've yet to see one in the wild. So I'm pretty hyped that we're getting Snorlax as a research breakthrough Pokemon. Now, what people are saying, and I got this on my Instagram, I've been getting it on my Twitter. People are saying, yo, like you can get the Snorlax inside of an egg. You can get the Snorlax in the wild. Like I, I had better IV Snorlax. You know, what a waste of a field research task. What a, you know, a, a lot of people are disappointed on this, especially because of the fact that shiny Snorlax wasn't introduced either. It's just a big bummer for, I want to say veteran players, as far as players who have caught Snorlax, who doesn't need a body slam Snorlax on a team. Because to be honest, it's not a good attacker. Snorlax is more a defender gym type Pokemon. So you wouldn't need one with a great move, if that makes any sense. You would, you kind of do, but like not really. To me, a lot of people are upset, at least on my side. Let me know what you think about Snorlax. Again, being a research breakthrough reward for the month of July. I know a lot of people are upset. I personally don't mind. I would kind of hope that we would have got Ditto because I do need Ditto for my meme quest, but that's just me. But I take Snorlax because I haven't added Snorlax to my Pokedex. So let me know what you, which side of the coin you fall on in the comment section below. Also in the news, we got a quick Pokemon dual update. This patch takes it up to version 6.0.11 and requires 247 megabytes of space on your mobile device to download. It is required to update in order to play the game. The patch contains various brand new figures. Now guys, I have no input on this. I don't play Pokemon Go, but I just wanted to include it. It's a Pokemon game. This is a Pokemon news daily show included. Now I wanted to end off this Pokemon news daily with what I thought before I heard all that Squirtle news was the biggest news story of the day. And that is in the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate game coming out for the Nintendo Switch due out in December it has been confirmed by Nintendo that they will be releasing Amiibo for the characters that don't have Amiibo in the game that have already been confirmed, including returning characters such as Snake, Ice Climbers, Young Link, Wolf, and of course, the reason why I'm bringing it up on this show, Pichu and Pokemon Trainer. Now, Charizard has his own single Amiibo, and to be honest, so with Charizard having his own Amiibo, a lot of people are questioning, will we get Ivysaur and Squirtle Amiibo alone, or will we get a Pokemon Trainer Amiibo that's gonna have all three of them combined? I think we're gonna get that. I think we're gonna get the Pokemon Trainer with Ivysaur, Squirtle, and Charizard represented in one figure. Now, yeah, that might sound crazy and that they might have to mess with the Pokemon sizes a little bit to kind of fit that one together. I think it would be cool if they went the way of the big fat Pikachu style and just had Pokemon Trainer looking big with a, you know, regular size Squirtle, Ivysaur a little bit bigger and a huge Charizard on there. I doubt they do something like that. I think we're going to just get a scale down version of Pokemon Trainer with probably Squirtle on the base, maybe Ivysaur. We probably won't get all three of them on the amiibo itself who knows on the design of that i wouldn't even mind if they did a you know a you know three pack or four pack with the pokemon trainer with the three pokemon as different amiibos and hell i wouldn't mind seeing leafy the female pokemon trainer that is represented in the smash games to be represented via the amiibo form as well too so the possibilities are endless i'm not too hyped on the the pichu amiibo i think it's gonna be cute i think it's gonna be cool I'm gonna probably try to get it. But again, I think the biggest question mark is how that Pokemon Trainer Amiibo is going to be designed and how it's gonna actually have all three. Is they gonna separate it? It's a lot of questions on that. They didn't specify on how they were gonna be doing that. But obviously, let me know what you think and what your suggestions on that in the comment section below. And that's gonna do it, guys, for today's episode of Pokemon News Daily. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of everything that we went over today from Squirtle Community Day with the Squirtle glasses, with Blastoise, Hydro Cannon, and Shiny Squirtle being added to the game. Let me know your thoughts and plans for Community Day. Also, are you playing Pokemon Duel? Who is actually playing Pokemon Duel? They keep updating the game. They keep adding stuff to the game. I, it's over my head. I, I played it initially when it launched in the US and I deleted the game very quickly when I realized the style of game it was. It was not for me. I it had a hard delete for me, but 
I respect the game and I respect people who play, but it's not for me. Let me know if you're one of those people in the comment section below. And of course, let me know what you think about the new Amiibo for Smash. Are you getting them? Pichu, Pokemon Trainer, how do you want Pokemon Trainer to actually be as an Amiibo? Do you want them separate with all different Amiibos? So they probably won't do Charizard, they would just do Ivysaur, Squirtle, and probably the Trainer. Or do you want them all combined as one big mega Amiibo? I think that would be pretty cool. I don't think they're gonna go for that. I think they're gonna just have the Pokemon Trainer standing there with probably Squirtle there and the rest of the guys in the Balls or something like that or something to that effect let me know what you think in the comment section below like always guys i'm daddy and my friend on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one